Hello everyone. Sorry if I look like a mess, but I just wanted to let you know that I just got my uh, vaccine. Yesterday I got my vaccine and I'm going to tell you a little bit my experience. And this is not going to advertise on people wanting to get your shot. If you don't want to get your shot, that is perfectly understandable. I am just telling you my side of the story. So mom and I got the Johnson & Johnson one. The reason we did that was because we didn't want to do the whole uh, two-shot thing because we're busy as it is at our uh, workplace. Basically, uh, we did the Johnson & Johnson because it's a one and done. And what happened was uh, I'm always skeptical on things. So I was really skeptical on the Johnson & Johnson as well as Pfizer and Moderna. I'm skeptical, skeptical on everything. When we got there, I was really worried. I was very anxious. But uh, the nurse that I was with, she was very nice. She told me everything that was going to happen. She told me the pain of what's going to happen when she gives me the needle. And I was, of course, crying like a baby. She was very patient with me and she told me to just relax, look away. And uh, I got the needle. And then what happened was uh, we had to stay there for 15 minutes just in case we had allergic reactions. And that was totally understandable. I kind of needed to relax. And afterwards, we went home and uh, I went to bed. And this was around 2 o'clock-ish at this time. I went into bed and I fell asleep because usually when I wake up, I always go back to sleep. I'm a lazy butt. And then what happened was I woke up at around three-ish and I started feeling really really weird I started getting chills I started getting warm I started getting shivery I started getting a headache I started feeling nauseous and at first I was like maybe my energy drained me and now I'm just feeling sick all of a sudden I'm like it could be the flu symptoms from the shot now I don't know if uh, a lot of people get the, these symptoms during the shot for any shot uh, as it is some people don't, some people do, some people get really bad symptoms, and to you guys, you're troopers, but um, I got mild symptoms, meaning that I didn't throw up, thank god, um, I didn't end up passing out or anything, I didn't go into shock for anything, but I was feeling like uh, the beginning of a cold or, a sim or flu. So what happened was uh, I woke up at around 3, I started feeling those symptoms, and then I was like, I cannot do this. So what happened was my head was hurting, and I always have the TV on when my head's hurting. I was watching Game Grumps, but I was like, they're too loud. I put on Animal Planet documentaries, and th those instantly made me fall asleep. At around 9 o'clock-ish, I still felt really weird, and my mom noticed that I started falling asleep throughout the whole day without waking up. But then again, I did wake up in like bursts, like I'll wake up and then I'll go back to sleep. Wake up, go back to sleep, like every couple hours or minutes depending. And I was shivering and all that. Uh, Mom came in around 9 or uh, 11 o'clock and she said, you haven't woken up at all, are you okay? And I'm like, I have all these symptoms. And she goes, it must have been from the shot. And I said, yeah. And then we, we discovered that maybe because my energy got drained from all the crying and stuff and also... I am very unhealthy for my age, very skinny, not muscular, underweight, instantly got the symptoms as it is, which is kind of good because we only get two days off for work, so I was glad I kind of got the symptoms yesterday instead of today, otherwise I probably would still feel like hell tomorrow. So she told me, just get your ibuprofen, drink some water, and all that stuff. And I told her, okay. I slowly got up to get my ibuprofen over by the window here. And I took tiny sips because at the time I was very nauseous, like f even from moving. Let's backtrack a little bit. Uh, the symptoms uh, of me feeling nauseous and weak and all that stuff, it was so bad to the point where I had to go to the bathroom, but I didn't want to move because I was worried I was going to blow chunks. Uh, so I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna do it. I get up very slowly, like turtle pace, and I walk to the bathroom, and I do my business, and then I come right back, and then I pass out. And then that's when mom woke me up and do all that. Okay, so I took my ibuprofen and tiny little baby sips, and then I took some water and tiny baby sips, and then, uh, I was like, uh, mom, can you get the temp- can you get the thermometer? She goes, sure. And she also grabs the packet that has all the information on uh, certain things about the shots. So she gives me the thermometer. 
I take it, the thermometer beeps, and it turns out I had a 102.7 fever, meaning that it was a low high fever. Then she said, okay, you don't have a high fever, but if you do have uh, if you do feel any more hotter, uh, just, uh, yell for me or come get me if you're able to. And I'm like, sure. Uh, I lie back down. I put on my TV again. I put on my sleeping mask so that way everything is dark. My head doesn't hurt. And I go to sleep. Then I woke up at around maybe 2 a.m., 3 a.m. this morning. I was sweating like a buffalo. Like my, like my shirt here, like it was soaked. And I was like, what's going on? And then I remembered, oh yeah, I'm sick. So then I'm like, this might be my body draining all the sick out of me, like a normal flu would. And so I was like, okay, just don't worry about it, you're fine. I go back to sleep, and as I'm trying to sleep, my stomach is going like, blah, 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 blah. and I'm like, no, you're going to relax. You're not going to toss your cookies, you're fine. This is just your body reacting. And then all of a sudden I went to sleep. As far as I know, I am okay. My arm right here still hurts because that's the one that gave me the needle. Um, I'm still iffy on a few things. I'm, I am okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, questions and answers in the description so that way you guys can get the gist of everything that I went through so far. As well as any questions you may have considering the Johnson & Johnson vaccine or why I didn't get the other vaccines or my experience or any questions regarding if you do get any uh, flu symptoms. Uh, but for now, uh, stay safe, stay healthy. If you plan on getting the vaccine, make sure you look up some research, but don't look up anything that might scare you. That's what I went through and it was hell. But either way, um, just take your time. If you don't want to take the vaccine, you do not have to take the vaccine. No pressure. Have a nice day.